Actor Jose Yenke has a familiar face, perhaps best known as a corrupt Mexican official in the hit movie Traffic. But getting to this point wasn't easy. I was 14 years old. I was 230 pounds, and I had, I had no desire to be an, act, an actor. And she put, in, she put me into this workshop, and it was seven months of being out of my comfort zone. It was seven months of being... Uh, feeling embarrassed. Seven months of these weird theater games and exercises and I was scared, I was terrified, but I didn't miss a class. Thanks to one of Yenke's acting colleagues who introduced him to teens at Tijuana orphanages, Jose made a special connection with a boy named Israel. He got my attention because he wouldn't talk. He's really angry. And later on I had found out that his, uh, his mom had done uh, you know, because of necessity and she had a drug problem and she had done, you know, sold the kids, him and his sister to, you know, for drugs. And that made me want to go back to that one orphanage. And I kept going back monthly, bi-monthly trips just to make sure he was okay. Uh, finally, slowly but surely, after a couple of years, he started talking. That welfare check turned into a lifelong friendship for the two. Jose founded an organization called Arts for a Better Tomorrow to give young people hope. Israel graduated from that academy and has a new outlook on life. Now, Yenke tries to give back to young people who, just like him, are struggling. He holds the workshops at a continuation school in the Los Angeles barrio. This acting program combines cinema, art enthusiasm, and anger management therapy techniques, providing a dynamic group project for at-risk teens. What I think about this program is it's life-changing. I've never seen programs like this. You know, here, you could say, I never seen them here. And to meet someone who will be there, you know, understand you, even though you guys have nothing in common, and, you know, give you those wise words through acting, you know, it's amazing. I think um, what this program is doing is beautiful because it's bringing together, you know, kids that have, that share similar things, similar passions, problems. Now the Mexican teens connect via Skype with teenagers in the Highland Park neighborhood in Los Angeles. When the teens in L.A. heard that one of the students at the orphanages was thinking about dropping out of the program, they put their hearts and minds together. Some people you can trust, some people you can't. I think that you should just stay in school in the workshop. And I say you should go back to Mr. Yankee's class because it's important and they miss you and shouldn't go down the wrong path. Arts for a Better Tomorrow may not produce Oscar award-winning actors, but for Jose Yenke, seeing these teens succeed in life is the biggest prize anyone could hope for.